Hi, this is Wesley, the Gizmo Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to use our latest 4th um, generation transmitter. We started to ship out the 4th generation transmitter on August 1st of 2017. So uh, if you order after um, like sometime in July, late July, um, you'll get the 4th uh, generation of a transmitter instead of, uh, instead of 3rd generation. And let me show you what the difference is. The um, the fourth trans uh, fourth generation transmitter and the third generation transmitters actually look identical. There are the outside is the same, nothing changed. The only main difference the difference is on the switch itself. This is our third generation transmitter, and you'll notice that there's a switch right here which allow you to select the appropriate uh, channel um, to match your car radio uh, depending on where you are, what your preference is, and then you will pick one of these to use. So there's actually a switch here that you can um, switch. You can go, the top is 87.9, uh, and the second one is 94.9, and the third one's 102.7. Uh, you can see that you just, just push this little switch here and you can select whichever channel that you want to use. Uh, for 90% of the people out there, you'll just be using 87.9, so you don't have to deal with this at all. But the main difference is that we got a lot of uh, feedback from customers. Um, over time, uh, we uh, improve the product as we go because we listen to you and um, so one of the big biggest complaint about the third generation is that there's no physical switch that you can turn this thing on and off so um, we went to the, um, the lab and fixed it and uh, so now the fourth generation actually has um, an on and off switch and let me show you what the difference so this is the third generation which has the physical um, button that you can push. This is the fourth generation. The fourth generation, the main difference is that you can no longer push this button. Okay, you notice that this but this button's fixed. Okay, so instead, um, what you'll do is you'll have to hold down, push, and hold this button for about three to five seconds, and the thing will come on. You notice that the little blue light comes on. That tells you that the transmitter has been activated. So now at this point, all you have to do is plug it in and it's ready to work. So we'll try that. So we'll go to the iPhone and uh, we'll go to the music. So we'll play music. So this is what it sounds like on the iPhone 7. So now we're gonna play the music over this little portable radio. So I'm gonna put this on pause. And then we turn on this radio here. Okay, so we'll go to 87.9. Okay, so now it's at 87.9, so it's ready to be receiving any um, music that we send to from the iPhone. So all you have to do is plug in this device into your iPhone. And now hit play. Notice that it's coming through the portable radio instead of the iPhone. It's loud and clear without any sort of static or distortion. Okay, so see, unplug, plug it back in, and you hit play. So you play here. This is what it sounds like on the phone. That's what it sounds like from that little radio there. So, 
if you want, if 87.9, 87.9 is not working for you, what you can do is go to uh, the next setting, which is uh, 94.9. So we'll go to 94.9 right here. You can see that it says 94.9 on the radio now. Okay, so now it's not getting music. So all you have is hit play. But since you don't hear music, and you cannot physically push this button, all you have to just hold it down for a second. You see that? By holding it down for a second or two, what the transmitter would do is that you will jump into the next setting. So, for instance, if you have on 87.9 right now, and if you hold down to the button for a little bit longer, you'll go to the next setting, which is 94.9. And if that doesn't work, and you just keep your finger on the button, and you'll go to the next setting, which is 102.7. So all you have to do, instead of actually pushing this thing up and down, you hold it down for a second or two. I mean, hold it down for three seconds, then you would skim through um, the preset channels, and then depending on what your radio setting is, you'll be able to hear the music. So this is the difference between the third generation and the fourth generation. So with the fourth generation, what you're able to do is actually, if you're done with it, you can actually turn it off. By turning off, well, it would turn it off. Uh, it would turn itself off after about three to five minutes without receiving any signal. But if you want to turn it off, you can simply just hit the button and hold it down for about three to five seconds and this thing will just turn itself off. You notice that now the trans the transmitter is off now so the static or the empty radio station now is being disconnected so that's why you hear the music. I mean that's why you hear the noise. But let's turn it back on. See now the static went off because now the transmitter is working. So all I have to just plug in the transmitter, then the music will come through. So this is Wesley, the gizmo guy. This is a quick instruction showing you what the difference is between the third generation and the fourth generation. Um, the main difference is actually just on the switch itself. So just make sure that if you got the fourth generation, make sure that you use the, uh, take advantage of the on and off button and uh, the, auto, the auto scan thing that allow you to scan to match the, uh, the radio setting, okay? And um, you better get the, um, the fourth generation as soon as you can because we are gonna raise the price um, within a month or two, but right now we're shipping the new thing and we're still charging the old price. Uh, but um, right now if you get it, you'll still get it at the same price, uh, which is uh, $59.99 with uh, shipping. So um, get it while you can before I raise the price and um, not because I wanted to, it's because you know when we improve things, it gets more expensive. Um, so this is Wesley, the Gizmo Guy. Thank you for watching. And this is a quick instructions on how to use a fourth generation of the Gizmo Guy gadget transmitter. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.